Sharon and Louise. Sharon. Sharon. Please God, don't let her die. Sharon. Sharon, don't die. Sharon, wake up. Please wake up. Where am I? Oh, Sharon, don't move. Lie still. You've been hurt. Aunt Sharon. Hey, bring Wait. the cop from Paris. He's been working for Roger. He, he's the one that okay, killed Crystal. Shh. He's the one. Enough talking. Please just relax. I'll go call an ambulance. I'm so glad you're here. Okay, you're, you're going to be okay. Antoine, he's around here right, somewhere. Shh, Sheridan, you've been hurt. Please. No, 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 no. Oh, it's not my blood. I'm not hurt. What? Antoine, we, we were struggling, and the gun was between us, but just before it went off, somehow I, I was able to twist it around, and it was pointed at him. And I shot him. You did good, girl. You did real good. Ah. Uh. You this how lucky I am a good guy. Gently, my shoulder. You're, sure. You're lucky you didn't hit Sheridan, because if you did, I'll tear this up straight off. Yeah, this is Officer Lopez Fitzgerald. I'm just calling to confirm the backup's on its way. Thanks. So. I think you're up to giving me the details of what happened here today? I'd be delighted. Cake. So, <clears throat> what time did you arrive at the cabin? Afternoon, uh, three or four, maybe somewhere around there. Okay. And what happened to your bodyguard? I let him off for the day. I didn't think anyone would... Would follow you? Yeah. That's a good call. Luis, I'm not going to live my life like that. Sheridan, people are trying to kill you. Now, the stubborn, defiant attitude of yours is going to do you in one day. Oh, excuse me, I forgot you have all the answers. Uh, no, I know how to keep people alive. You had a bodyguard for a reason. The policeman is right. You were a fool to do what you did. You made it easy for me. And you shut your damn mouth. So now you're saying that I'm a fool? I didn't say that, he did. No, but you were thinking it. Yeah, sure, I was thinking something more along the lines of, uh, childish. Oh, great. So now you think I'm a childish fool. You can't talk without arguing like an old married couple. Shut, Shut up! up. None of this would have happened if you hadn't let your bodyguard go. But, no. I mean, Sheridan, you're in danger. How many times do I have to tell you? But every time I bring it up, you just laugh at me. Like the thought of saving your life is some joke. Well, excuse me, a oh wise one. You know, it's no wonder you don't have anyone in your life. I mean, what woman would put up with living with you? I don't know. I haven't met her yet. But I know one woman I couldn't stand living with. She's standing right in front of me. Couldn't stand to live with me? Ha! <laughs> you should be so lucky. You know, your ego is so off the charts, I wouldn't even consider you. Did I say you would? As a matter of fact, I remember saying that I didn't want you in my life. Remember? Oh, so then why did you come up here? To do my job. Now, even if you have no respect for your own life and want to jeopardize it, it's my job to make sure that you don't do it around me. Mm. Don't believe him, Sheridan. There's more to it. Tell the truth. You shut your mouth or I'm going to tape that ugly face of yours. No, he's right. Oh. What's in this for you? A, a promotion? A, a, a commendation from the commissioner? Uh, how do you benefit? Oh, 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 you think that I'm doing this for my own good? Do you want to know the truth? Always. Because you've gotten under my skin, that's why. 